this must be clear to people that what the Imams were upon and the Ahlul Sunnah was upon is not what the Ash'aris today are upon. Wallahi, the Ash'ari can't even teach the people his Aqeedah. The Ash'ari hides his Aqeedah from the people. The Ash'ari hides his Aqeedah from the people. The general people will never accept his Aqeedah. Imagine, because the general people don't know that they deny what Allah says. If Allah says so, they say, no, you can't say it. The general people don't, they don't know this. Therefore, they teach their Aqeedah in their groups and in their special schools and in their special circles. And when it comes to the people, they say, oh, no, no, you know, this is too intricate for the people. But the Quran and the Sunnah is clear for the people. Allah made it clear. You know, so this means that what you have, this is something else. And therefore, Wallahi, this uh, Ilmul Kalam, in fact, Imam, uh, the Imam Al Ghazali, he also, him in statement and even in writing, and even what's his name also in, in, in writing, uh, Fakhr, uh, Fakhr al Ashairah, they wrote that you need to keep the awam away from ilmul kalam <laughs> you need to keep the generality of people away from ilmul kalam why because this ilmul kalam wallahi it is full of pitfalls it is full of pitfalls imagine you denying what allah said and you placing your interpretation based on your aql over the words that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said so it is extremely dangerous and, and inshallah if we, as we go on and, 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 and if we have, uh, you know, future opportunities then we can go into some of the details. But in a nutshell, it is not the aqidah of the Imams and it is not the aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah al-Jama'ah. And when they make this claim also, this is also very important, they, they run around with the statement, you know what, um, the Ash'aris, are 95% of the Ummah. 95% of the Ummah are the Asha'ira. And that is now the proof that they must be Ahlul Sunnah or Jama'ah, you know, and that they are the Sawad al Azam. Number one, even that claim of 95%, if 95% of the Ummah are the generality of people, and your Aqeedah, you cannot teach to the generality of people. So there's no ways that you can claim you are 95% you know of the of the ummah you know, so this is a false claim go to a person in the street wallahi go to a muslim in the street and say to him Allah says وَيَبْقَى وَجَهُ رَبِّكْ and the face of your lord will remain and then you ask him does Allah have a face? what do you think he's going to say to you? Allah just told you he has a face huh? didn't you just hear what Allah said? And then, Wallah, out of his fitrah, out of his natural inclination and purity, he will tell you, and don't think that Allah's face is like your face. Don't think that you can imagine it. Because he knows, you know, out of his fitrah, Allah is not like me and you. But, Allah says he has a face, Allah has a face. Do you know, um, you go to a general person and say, Allah Ta'ala said to Nabi Ada, uh, uh, um, to Ibelis, when he refused to make sujood to Nabi Adam, what uh, uh, What prevents you from making sujood? Lima khalaq to be a day. To that which I created with my own two hands. Does Allah have hands? Yes, Allah says it. Allah created Adam with his hands. Don't think it is like your hands. Huh? Don't imagine it. Don't try to. This is the natural, pure inclination of the Muslim in the street. Then you go to Ashari and you say, Allah Ta'ala says this. No, 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 no. This is, this is Quran. <laughs> Subhanallah, this is what led them. Subhanallah, what led them to say that you know what? If you are going to believe in what is apparent from the verse of the Quran, in many cases it is kufr. A'udhu billah. This is their statement, it's in their books. In their teachings, you will hear them say it also. You can find them making these statements. In other words, the Quran is a book that it is dangerous for us to read. It's dangerous. It's kufr. You're going to fall into pitfalls. 
This is according to the main Asha'ira ulama, you know, out there. And these ones that we have here, there's a small fries. You know, they don't even know, most of them, they don't know their own Aqidah. You know, we had this experience when we had the conference about the Ashari Aqidah from that madrasa, uh, Qasim al-Ulum. And they added me into this group. <laughs> they added me into a group of their graduates, right? And they insisting with me that they are upon the Aqidah of the Salaf al-Salih. They are, they, they are Ash'aris and they are Ahl sunnah wal Jama'ah. So I say, Ar-Rahmanu ala al-Arshi istawa. Huh? The most merciful has ascended the throne. Give me its tafsir. The Mawlana, <laughs> Mawlahum, right? He cuts and pastes out of tafsir ibn Kathir. The whole, <laughs> the whole tafsir, just like that, out of tafsir ibn Kathir. There's the tafsir. I said, brother, this is Salafi Tafsir. He says, no, but that, that is the right Tafsir. He says, you don't even know what's your own Aqidah. You don't even know what's your own Aqidah. You know, subhanAllah, so this is the reality. You know, the majority of them, they don't know their Aqidah. Wallahi, they don't know it. And um, Alhamdulillah, we know it. You know, and we know it in detail. And uh, yeah, we, we, there is no aspect of it. There is no aspect of it that is not refuted already by the Qur'an and by the Sunnah and by the Imams of Ahl Sunnah. Um.